Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are ready to tackle your to-do list with me. I have so much I need to get done, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, we are gonna start by cleaning the fridge. I don't even know when was the last time I cleaned my fridge and believe me, it needs it. It is a hot mess, it is a disaster and I'm so sorry. I hope you guys are ready, I am so sorry. I just, it's a mess, what can I say? That I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I Hey guys, before we start cleaning and organizing, I do want to mention today's video is in collab with my friend Julianne. I will have her introduce herself right now. Hi everyone, I'm Julianne Nicole. I'm a stay-at-home mama of three. On my channel, you'll find tons of cleaning motivation and decor inspiration. I have a new video every Tuesday and Saturday with tons of real messes and realistic cleaning motivation. Once you're finished with this video, I'd love it if you'd come over to my channel letting me know Jessica sent you. See you soon! I will have all her information linked in the bio for you guys, so make sure you guys go and check her out. She is also doing a fridge organization and a pantry organization, so go and check her out. Get ideas on how you can go ahead and organize your fridge and your pantry. And make sure you guys let her know that you guys are coming from me. Like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start by taking everything out because you guys know, first of all, I need to clean the fridge, so I need to have everything out. And second of all, I'm gonna go through the stuff and see what's expired, throw it out, and just keep what I really need. Let me know in the comments how you guys like to organize your fridge. Girl, I know what's If you're new to my channel or if you're coming from Julianne's channel, let me know in the comments so I can go ahead and welcome you personally. But here in my channel, you're going to find tons of cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, home decor inspiration. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. And playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands are shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time. To clean the fridge, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Miss Myers Clean Day because I feel like it's gentle, it smells good, and that's what my fridge needs right now. As you guys know, I'm always suffering with my short girl problems, so I had to go grab my stool so I can go ahead and clean the top of my fridge. Let me know if you're a short girl so we can start some kind of squad or something because because yeah, it's a real thing guys, and it's a real struggle.
I decided to go ahead and take out the drawers. That way I can go ahead and wash them because I felt like with the cleaner and like a washcloth, it wasn't, it wasn't doing it. So I really needed to get in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let all the drawers dry before I go ahead and put them back, but I can't wait to show you guys how pretty the fridge looks when it's empty. I just love it. This is my favorite part. Okay, now that it's all nice and clean, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything back, but I just love to see the fridge empty. Let me know in the comments if you guys are the same or you're just like, um, girl, you're crazy, what the heck. But this is my favorite part. Like, I just love to see it empty. And even when I'm going grocery shopping and further down the video, you'll see I don't like to overcrowd the fridge. I like it simple. I like it very minimal. I mean, of course, I, I could go more minimal, of course. But, I mean, there's a lot of things I need, so... But in my perfect world, I think I would have the fridge, seriously, with just probably milk. Like milk and yogurt or something, you know, like super minimal. But let me know in the comments how you guys like to organize your fridge. And also, how often do you guys clean your fridge? I feel like I should clean it more often. I feel like I clean it like every six months. Like deep clean it like this. Now that I'm juicing every day, I constantly have to get vegetables and everything that goes in my juices, but all these vegetables are always so bulky. I like to go ahead and cut them in little squares or little pieces and store them this way. It's a lot easier for me to just grab it in the morning and do my make my juice versus like having to wash it and do the whole process. I feel like when I have everything cut and ready to go, I'm more likely to like use it and I don't get lazy. So. That is why I'm cutting right now my celery, but you will see I will go ahead and cut more vegetables and more fruits right now because that's how I like to store it. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks. And I feel misplaced without you. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Honestly, I'm open wide I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to you I'm gonna 
go ahead and storm all my apples here in this little bowl because it's gonna make it easier for the kids to just come and grab a fruit. They don't have to like open anything. It's gonna be kid friendly. And I feel like when the fruit's out like this, they're more likely to grab it. Even myself, I don't have to like go and deal with opening lids or anything. It's easy access and that is what I like. <laughs> I'm also going to be cutting down my cilantro and I'm going to be cutting down my onions and chives and I'm going to have everything ready on the go, already pre-washed, just ready to use. That way I can go ahead and use it and I don't get lazy because guess what? I'm a mom and sometimes even if I want to use it, I just don't want to go through the whole process of washing it, cutting it. I don't have time for that. So like this, I'm more likely to use it. This drawer is a hot mess, it's a complete disaster, and I am so sorry, but it's real life. My kids have access to this drawer, and look what they do. They leave strawberries out, they leave chocolate hanging. It's a hot mess, so we are going to go through it, organize it, and deep clean it. They even left a half-eaten banana. That was them, and not me. Now that I'm done cleaning the inside of the fridge, I'm also going to clean the outside of the fridge because with little ones, they're constantly grabbing the fridge, leaving me fingerprints, so it really needs a quick wipe. But after this, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my meal planning. So I'm, gonna, I'm super excited to show you guys this process. It's completely new. I don't think I've ever showed it to you guys in any of my videos. And we'll talk more about that here in a little bit. Please don't So right now I'm going to go ahead and start my meal prepping. This is what we're going to eat throughout the week. And I like doing this. Now let me tell you, I am not the best at doing this every week. I don't do it every week. It takes way too much time. But if I have extra time, I do like doing this. It saved a lot of time throughout the day. Yes, it takes a lot of time to get it all done one day, one sitting. But throughout the day, it did save me time. So I did enjoy that. Now, am I the best at keeping up with it? No. Life gets hard. I'm a mom. Like, I can't keep up with this sometimes. But I did enjoy doing it, and I love to share with you guys. So I'm sharing this little clip of how I made it. It hopefully gives you guys ideas on what you can or how you can meal prep. <laughs> Thank you. 
This week, I made salmon, rice, vegetables, some chicken, and some mac and cheese for the kids. And I felt like making like these meals, it was a lot easier to stay on track on being eating healthy. So I really enjoy this part. I think I'm gonna stick with it. I hope I do. I hope I, I get better at it too. <laughs> Send me any good recipes that you guys have so I can go ahead and try it. And let me know if you guys meal prep or not. As I'm walking through your place, I'm shaking. I am picturing the words in my mind. I cannot stand losing you. No, I will fight. Now that the fridge is all done, it's nice and organized, let me know in the comments if you guys like how I organized it, if it gave you inspiration to go ahead and organize yours. But now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to with the pantry. This pantry, I don't know if you guys remember, I made another video not too long ago organizing it and I did more of a Pinterest pantry. And look at my Pinterest pantry right now. It's a hot mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and organize it. I'm not aiming to do a Pinterest um, pantry anymore. I'm just aiming to organize it. Organize it and declutter a little bit. Have you guys tried these keto cups from Costco? They are so good. I mean, healthy good. If you don't like healthy stuff, you probably won't like them. But if you like healthy stuff and you still want something sweet every now and then, these are so good. I definitely recommend them. Like I'm awake inside of a dream You're getting closer Night's almost over I might just ask you to leave now with me Can't get enough Take my eyes off you, you know what? 
It doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night Only that time And it's not my style To be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably so my water dispenser has become the place where everybody comes and places their sippy cups, their cups. So I'm going to go ahead and organize that. I'm going to clean the water dispenser. I'm going to remove all this because this is driving me crazy. We too drunk, it's blurry, but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't. And I should let it be. But I'm gonna dive, dive into you And maybe I'll drown, but what can I do? And it would be alright to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive, dive into you it doesn't even make sense. So I don't even know when was the last time I went ahead and cleaned this water dispenser, but this is disgusting. I don't even know what this is. I, I can't even put words. Like, this is so gross. I hope it's not mold. Like, I have no idea what this is, but I did go ahead and put some gloves on because, I don't know, this is so gross. But we are going to go ahead and clean this mess and leave it nice and clean because this is just disgusting. Thanks. Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch The room caught on fire We could blame it on the wine But we know that we will both be lying I wish I didn't want you I was doing just fine The way that it was Then you hand me these emotions Didn't want them But I guess that I'm stuck with them They could go away But I know they won't And I should let it be but I'm gonna die only one night only that time and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this but i'm gonna die around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me i never gave the key to you even though i wanted to i should be trying something new but now my body's aching i'm tired of dwelling in the dark it's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go I feel alone and I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place, I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go 
Sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. Hey guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it gave you the motivation to tackle your fridge and tackle your pantry if it did please go ahead and give me a big like and don't forget to go check out my friend julianne i'll have all her information linked in the bio for you guys have a great weekend guys